Hi, my name is Cindy. Welcome to Phil Sewing Virtual Club. Today we're going to have some fun. We're going to make some games. We're going to be using the Baby Lock Holiday Phil Motif Collection Number no. One Design Suite. So um, we're going to. I've already made a checkerboard, and I used glow in the dark thread, and then I made some glow. Took some buttons and painted them glow in the dark, so that the kids can play this. Our adults can play this game in the dark. So I thought that might be a good, fun way to have a game night for Halloween. Uh, today uh, we are going to create with IQ Designer and the design collection, we're going to create a tic-tac-toe game. So I wanted to show you this, um, and this actually was a really fun uh, thing to make, and I just backed it and used some um, craft fuse on the backing, and I used the batting and a backing on the front. And um, this really uh, enabled me to use some of these fills uh, that are included with this design suite. So let's get to the machine. Let's start having fun. This is how the design suite holiday fill and motif collection number one comes. When you purchase this, this is what you get. Um, when you open it, you have a USB. The designs are all on this USB. If you uh, use your phone and scan this, you can get this chart uh, of the design suite designs and fi uh, fills. So this is nice to have handy because it will show you, like this is the Halloween collection. Um, there's five of the um, fills in each one and five of the motifs. So these are all coordinated with the holiday. We've got Halloween, we've got Thanksgiving, we've got Christmas, and then we also have um, New Year's. So lots of fun stuff. And a lot, a lot of these things you can use for other things also, like the, the champagne glasses you may want to use for a uh, wedding theme. And there's um, bows in Christmas that you may want to use for a little girl's project. So lots of versatility here when you purchase this design suite. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get to the machine. And we're going to go to the IQ Designer. So we're going to start with IQ Designer. And we're going to create our tic-tac-toe, which I want to do one inch squares, so there's nine. So we're going to have to have uh, nine one inch squares. The first thing I'm going to do is create my nine inch square. So I'm going to select my shapes and there's a square and just say okay. Now the first thing I want to do is size my square to nine inches. And you just hold this size key down. There, we got nine inches. Now, we do have to have um, two lines that are vertical and two lines that are horizontal and center them in here. So the first thing I want to do is uh, I want to turn on my grid. And this is on page 8 of 12 in the machine settings, okay? That's not in IQ design settings, it's in the machine settings. So you have some options here for your grid. Um, and what I want is my one inch grid. That's gonna make it the easiest uh, for this project. I'm gonna say okay. Another thing I wanna do is I wanna set up my hoop size. So my hoop size is set also in settings. So, I want to use my 10 by 10 magnetic frame with that quilted, um, I've got uh, a batting in between two layers of uh, cotton fabric, black cotton fabric, and that's what I'm going to use for my tic-tac-toe game. So, I'm going to use the, the 10 by 10 frame. I want to, that's also on page 8. I'm just going to say okay. So, now we're all set with our frame. 
and our, our first original square. Next thing we need to do, I'm going to say okay. Next thing we need to do is we need to go to our line properties because I want to just draw a straight line, uh, two vertical, two horizontal. I'm going to go into my settings for the line property and choose the straight line. That's going to give me a straight line and then I can choose my color. Um, for the purpose of seeing this on the machine, you know, really well, I'm going to keep it at black for right now. Say okay. So now what I can do is I'm going to center the horizontal lines. So I need two horizontal lines. So I want to go up three inches here. And you want to start outside the square and go all the way across. Okay, now we've got that. And you want to extend it along outside your square. So here's the other one. And if you hold down and you pull it up and down, you can see that it'll stay straight. Now I'm going to do my vertical lines. And I'm going to go extend it outside there. And I'm going to hold down and release. Now we've got that extended, that extended. We've got them all extended. We've got one more line to create. And we're going to extend it. And now we've got those completed. So if you see, we've got our tic-tac-toe. Now I can take my grid and turn it off so I can see what I've got. So now you see we have our tic-tac-toe game set up. Now what we need to do next is clear the lines that were extended. Now this is fun because you can go to 1600% and now I'm going to pan and I'm going to start the top left corner Okay, and I'm going to go all the way down the right side. I said left corner. It's right corner. Sorry. My other right. Okay, so this is a line that's, and I'm using my pan. And now this is where we need to erase. I'm going to select the eraser key. And if you see, we've got a circle and a square option. And you can also size those to what suit your needs. I'm going to use a square. I find that to me that one ends up really pretty close and I don't really need it that large so I'm going to take it down. Okay it's good. You just press down on the screen and with this stylus it's really nice because you got a clear end to it and you can see and you got really close to that. So we're going to go back to our pan and we're going to edit our other line. So, eraser, and we're going to erase all the way up to that line. Okay, now we're going to pan again, and we'll go to the bottom, and we're going to take care of the two at the bottom. We're just going to go around this square. Okay, there. This is what we need to erase. That's the extension at the bottom right. So I'm going to use my eraser. Up. Oh, see what I did? I took that out. We didn't want to do that. So I'm just, thank goodness, there's that undo button. So that saved me more times than I can tell you. So now we're going to go up. And there, that's much better. We didn't take anything out that we didn't want. So we're gonna go back to our pan and go over to the other extension line to erase it. And there we are. So we're gonna use...
Did it again. Okay. There we go. Okay, now back to the pan. And we're going to go all the way to the left side now and erase the extension lines for the left side. So here's, and this is not even all fitting on the screen. I really overdid that. Go back to my pan, back to the eraser. There we go, we'll go back to the pan. And if you see, we're just going right along over along this square. So I want to erase this. Back to pan, and now we're gonna do the top. Use our eraser, and then after this, we'll have one more. Now we're going to go back to 100%. If you see, we do have all of our lines uh, now created. This is where the fun begins. Now what we are going to get into the design suite. We've got our um, tic-tac-toe board set up so we can either fill these squares in like we did on the checkerboard. Um, we can also create some motifs, but I'm going to take my USB out of my box, insert it, Now, when I go into my region property and I select this last option, we can now go into the select. These are the built-in. There are two uh, categories here. One's built-in, one's custom. We're going to go to the custom. Okay, and I have already pulled some of these in that I've used, so there's they're already here. But I want to you know, review my options. So here, this little pocket at the top is where you can go into your design suite and they're broken down into categories. There's Halloween, Happy New Year, Thanksgiving, and Winter Christmas. So what we're gonna do today is go into the Halloween. Let's, and then um, we can review the other ones that are in there. Now we're in fills. So there are five fills. These are the five that are built in and they're displayed on this sheet that I showed you you can download and scan. Okay, so these are just fills. Another thing we can do is show you, like here's Thanksgiving. Here are the fills for Thanksgiving. These are all gonna match exactly what's on this sheet. So that's how you would retrieve the designs you want to use. So um, what we can do is, since there are five of them, we could choose three of these and um, repeat them three times and put them in the squares. And the tic-tac-toe, we can do it that way. Or we could leave those empty. And I'm just gonna say okay. And we could go into our line properties. And then the line properties, this last selection here, is going to bring you into the built-ins and then, of course, the custom. I've already brought some of the custom in. But if we select that little um, pocket on the top right corner, you can see we can go into our design suite and we can choose Halloween here. And now we have the motifs. Now here are the motifs that are all on this. We've got the candy corn, the boo, um, we've got bats, owls, and ghosts. 
So I think I would like to use the ghost um, for my, and here they are. Now I'm going to choose my color, and I'm going to do my ghost in orange. Okay, so what I could do is just touch my design and go next. And look at that. I've got my ghost around the tic-tac-toe board. Now this is the default. You have some options here. And this is a good time to bring your uh, your attention to this new book I've, I've encountered. Mastering the IQ Designer. This is an amazing little book. And it's not only um, for the Solaris, but as you see, it's got all of the settings for like, this is the Solaris, but it has the Venture. It has the um, Altair. Meridian. There's the venture. And it just shows you the screens so that no matter what machine you have that has the IQ designer and the de design suite is for all the machines that have IQ designer. Um, this really is a useful tool to help you understand all of the tools that you have to edit your designs and it's so it's not just one and done you can edit these and spread them apart make them larger do whatever you want and in the motifs you have other options too um, it's just an amazing little book here that tells you all of the uh, options like here's your line adjustments um, it explains to you everything that you'll need to know using the IQ designer. It will it, it explains your pull compensation, your density, directions, the fills, the under sewing. Um, it also has your run pitch and thickness of the stitch. All of these are in this book and it will guide you through anything you really need to um, know even on editing tools. So I highly recommend, this is really well received, I'd highly recommend talking to Larry or Annette about purchasing this book. It has a lot of projects that you can go through and um, I know I've had several friends that did the, read the book and did the projects all the way through and they actually love the projects. So they, it, it, it's not just one thing, it's not just a tutorial, it also has designs and uh, it will show you what you need to know on using the IQ designer. So now we have our ghost in here and like I said we can go ahead and what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that in a memory. So that's going to, I'm going to save, just save it to my machine memory. I'm going to return that and here I can go back to my line properties and this time I'm going to do a zigzag. Just do a black. And now I've got my tic-tac-toe board and I'm going to save that into memory while I'm thinking about it. it with a zigzag. Okay. So now what I could do is put some fills in there. So what I'm going to do here is go to the select, go to the custom, and I'm going to choose my spider web. I love this little spider web. Say okay, and I think a spider web should always be black. Okay, so I'm going to set this in, and now I'm going to choose my fill bucket. Now I can just put it in the center. And let's just do that for right now. And we'll go over some of these properties. So that is my tic-tac-toe board. I've got um, a satin outline. And right now, you can see in the window here, we're on the, mo uh, the fill. So right here, I can size this down. And it'll give you a preview. It'll work through its magic here. And there's 
the design the motif fill with it all the way down now let's enlarge it and see what happens it's really fun just seeing what you can all do with this i'm going to go to 125. i think i really like that 125. okay so here is another thing you can do is change direction if i wanted to go 45 degrees I could change it like that. So we've got a little bit of a, a difference in the direction of that. And it's always going to display exactly what I've got here. Okay, the outline. I don't want to outline because I do have um, the outline with that square. So I'm going to keep that off. But if I had it on, it would create its own outline. Okay, and then here's a shift. I can shift this, and it's going to shift the pattern. Uh, not so much, <laughs> but I can try a few other things. That's spooky looking, but not what I really want for my tic-tac-toe board. But you could see that with any design, you do have a lot of uh, options. And you can do a position offset. So if I wanted to move that and offset that design in that square, I can do that also. But I really want to go back to um, just the center. So I have my undos down here also. If you see, it's reflecting everything that I changed other than the, uh, I sized it to 125 and I've got a 45 degree um, direction shift. So I'm happy with that. I could also return and do another motifs around Let's just say I want some bats around that. Too bad they don't have spiders. Maybe, no, bats will be good. Select my bats. And let's make our bats orange. Okay. So I'm going to fill that with my bats. With my spider web. So that's kind of cute. And here you can also... Um, on your, I'm going to switch over to my outline so I have my tools to, to adjust this. Now I can increase the size of these bats. I just did a little bit here. But it did kind of round my corners out a little bit, so I want to kind of keep it down. So I might even go smaller. Let's see what that looks like. That's a little bit better. And then you can also make these further apart. So I'm going to, oh, went a little crazy there. I'm going to make these bats a little bit further apart. What's nice is you can also go in and magnify this so that you can see exactly what you want. See, in the corner here, these bats are a little on top of each other. So, I'm going to size them back to the default. And I'm going to see what it is. See, if, if you notice, it does stay zoomed in. Um, that's better. But I think I'm going to go back down again. Let's see what that does. It does a little bit better. So, what I can do then, when I'm done with this, is I can, of course, put this in memory. And I can just save it in my machine's memory. So there's a lot of options with this. And it's just such a, a fun thing. And you could even have your grandkids or your kids help you with setting what they want up in these games. This would be That would be a, a project that you could do with them, too. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our ghost
I'm going to cancel this. And I'm going to go into my IQ Designer. And here is my tic-tac-toe board. And I'm going to set that. We're going to go ahead and, and hoop our fabric with the, the sandwich, the, the quilt sandwich, in our 10 by 10 magnetic frame. And we'll be right back. I threaded my machine with the orange on top and I have black in my bobbin. Uh, I've got my quilt sandwich. I've just got cotton and then a, a warm and natural batting and another layer of cotton. Uh, now I've got my, I've brought in my ghost and I'm just going to take that into embroidery. I've got my magnetic frame on and the next step is to lower my foot and press start. We're going to let this stitch out and we'll come back or a little bit further along. As you can see, we're almost done. We're going to fit and bounce again. Boy, this is really turning out cute. So after this is done embroidering, uh, what, we could, what we're going to do is just leave a border and then uh, put a binding around it like this. I actually had some spider uh, ribbon. You can just be as creative as you want to be and do what you want to do. But this is really a quick, easy, fun project. It's something you can involve your kids with. You could even take what's left over here and create disc for your tic-tac-toe game. You can make one of ghosts you know, want a bag, whatever you choose to do. And it's just a real fun, easy, fast project for Halloween. You could even do this and glow in the dark thread if, if that's what you choose to do too. That would be another uh, addition to the night game. But this is really a fast, and with this 10 by 10 frame, it worked out beautifully. Gave me plenty of room for the tic-tac-toe board using the, um, grids and setting everything up just work beautifully and so there we are we're done and I'll pull this out of the machine and when you're pulling out the magnetic hoop you got to make sure you come out the corner and look there you are we've got the tic-tac-toe board all complete and like I said, you could do whatever you want to do with that. Um, we'll go ahead and trim this up and add the binding, um, but we won't do that today. I'm sure you all know how to do that, but I just wanted to um, reinforce the idea that everything is here that you can do to create fun projects for any holiday. Uh, we're concentrating on the Halloween theme today. The design suite has um, a lot of options, a lot of creativity. You can do a lot of different things with it. And um, if there's a lot of support, the book, as I showed you before, the Baby Lock Mastering IQ Designer book is really been well received. And I really highly recommend that. That has a lot of answers to your questions there. Um, using the design suite, I just created a quick monogram, put some rickrack on the bottom of the towel. I used bats motif around that, created like a little area here with an oval with the built-in shapes. Use a spider web design and then just put my monogram in there. Um, another thing, uh, Diane created this and I really love this. This is uh, Quilt As You Go and it has, it, if you look close, it's got the spider web designs in here and that turned out really cute. She incorporated it into the triangle area. And that's really nice. Another thing we have, let me, excuse me,
Diane created this really cute um, little cosmetic bag. If you can see that, the bats, that's one of the fills with the swirls. Really cute. And uh, that's going to be really nice cosmetic bag or a little bag to keep your little game pieces in if you choose to do that. This is really cute. It's a little pillow for the storybook. That's done with the built-in pumpkin and bat design. That turned out really cute. And even here, you could have done uh, motif stitches, but mm, I think this looks cute too. But you can just use your creativity. Um, the clear bags, um, I made this. And you could, um, I subliminated a picture of my granddaughter on here. And there's glow-in-the-dark thread. You're not going to be able to see it now because we have the light. But though there's a little ghost motif around that. And it's just a clear, clear Halloween bag uh, she can use for trick-or-treating. Or she can keep all her game pieces and game boards in that bag and store her that for Halloween. So as you can see, there's plenty of options uh, of using this design suite. And this is the Holiday Fill and Motif Collection number one. I hope that you've enjoyed this. If you did, please make sure you push the like button and ring the bell and subscribe to our channel. Um, we enjoyed being here for you. And if you need any assistance in anything or if you want to uh, purchase any of these supplies that we've used, please visit Larry or Annette at Phil Sewing in Washington, Missouri. Until next time.